It's a note. I think we just found something on the D.B. Cooper case. Bring the box to Teresa. Teresa! She Teresa! No, she knows Ax Big Tuna. There's more gunshots. She shots. knows Big Tuna. Big Tuna? We gotta find a way to get home, alive, just like D.B. Cooper did. Coyotes. The coyotes are here. Hold it up. Do you remember the biggest one of them all? Yep, this is it. What is up, Adventure Agents? Okay, so on our last episode, Axel and I were in the middle of doing the D.B. Cooper Survival Challenge. But in the middle of the challenge, while we were hiking through the woods, we stumbled upon an old hideout. An old hideout that we think may have been D.B. Cooper's hideout while he was hiding from the FBI. And in that hideout, we found some epic clues. Clues that we think might help us with this D.B. Cooper case. And one of those clues looks like it is a really big gold coin. All right, let's get back into the adventure. Oh, look at it from right. Oh, you can see it from right here. Yep, there it is right there. There's that gold coin. Look at that. What does that say? In God we trust. That must be an American gold coin. Wow. That is crazy. Okay, so what do we do, Axel? What do we do? Um, we still got to get home. We have this new evidence. Who knows what's going on? I say we won the challenge. Well, you say we've won the challenge? Yeah, since yeah, we found Yeah, since it. we found this. What if this was D.B. Cooper's hideout? That would be so crazy. That is a legit hideout. It looks really old and falling apart. D.B. Cooper could have had multiple hideouts. If he was really planning to jump out of this plane, he would have maybe had multiple places where he could hide out and move around while the FBI was looking for him. That all makes sense now. Well, it's starting to get dark. We really need Wait, to Daddy. hurry up and make a fire so we can make our maybe way out Maybe he of here. stole something else from the bank. Like, maybe the bank gave him some gold coins, too. Maybe, or maybe the money, the, the cash, was just a part of a big network of treasure that he was hiding and keeping. Who knows? Oh, maybe he bought Who a knows? bunch of treasure with it. With the money? Yeah. Possibly, possibly. All right, well, we need to start a fire. Let's keep this mystery evidence inside of our backpack here. Let's put this gold coin in the mystery evidence inside that backpack there. And let's go find something that's gonna help us start a fire. It's called Fatwood and it's from a Douglas fir. Axel, you were just saying that you know that that is a Western Red Cedar, right? Yep. Yeah, and that right there is a Douglas fir. It has different kind of bark. We're looking for an old dead Douglas fir. It has something called fatwood. It's the resin that is settled in the bottom and hardened over time, dried out. It's so good for starting fires. Let's go find some fatwood. Okay, I'm gonna put the skull in here too. Right in. Axel. Yeah. Dude, look at that. There's something in there. Okay, there's something inside. Oh, it's a note. Here. It's a note. It's a note. <gasps> Get it. Oh, remember? Somewhere where you haven't looked. Pull it out. Pull it out. Be careful. Be careful. Don't. Do you need to break it? Do you remember when we found the 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 bar, the silver bar inside of the skull, the head of the skull? Be really careful. Oh my goodness, there's some kind of paper in here. Does it say something? It does, it does say no. something. Okay, there is definitely a note in here. What does it say? Read it. If I don't make it, it's not over. Bring. If I don't make it? Bring the, bring the box to Teresa. Teresa! She Teresa! No, she knows. Axel, Teresa! Yeah, but listen. With, with the she, abandoned school bus. Yeah, but she, the first clue we found. She knows big two. Oh, there's more writing. She knows big tuna. There's more gunshots. She shots. knows big tuna. Big tuna? Who's big tuna? He will. Uh, wait. It's he so will faded. let. Let. He will. Him. What does that say? He will. It. Tell. tell. Tell you. Oh, you can barely no, what make does that this say? out. What does that say? Tell you. Oh, what does that say? This note is so old. It's falling apart. All. All. It says all. All. He will tell you all. 
you need you to need to K N O W. No, he will tell you all you need to know. Cooper. Big, big tuna. Cooper. Cooper. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. <clears throat> Coop. Coop. That's short for Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, don't be so loud. Don't be so loud. Coop. Signed Coop. See, it's got the dash. Coop. That's short for Cooper. I think we just found something on the DB Cooper case. For sure. Confirmed. Okay, so we need to go back to Teresa. And find Big Tuna. But Teresa said she's washing her hands of this. You remember? Oh. What? What if Teresa was the girl on the plane? What if Teresa was a flight attendant? Yes! Oh no, she can't be. I've seen the flight attendant on a documentary. She doesn't look like her. Maybe she was one of the other people on the plane. Maybe, maybe she's friends with D.B. Cooper. She says she's washing her hands of this. She seemed really, really freaked out last time. Do you want to go back? Maybe we'll go back with Darian when he gets back. Agent Rex. Yeah. You want to do that? Okay. I think we're going to go pay Teresa another visit and show her the box. What box? I mean, it's got to be this box, right? Yes. Whoa! It opened! The box opened! It just opened! By itself! How did it do that? Okay, wait a minute. Let me see. Let me see. Let me, let me be careful. Be careful. Oh my gosh. The oh, box. Oh, yeah, Look what it does. Look! It's got this secret door. Wow. Did it come did it come unlocked or did the This is so crazy. This this is just insane right now, you guys. Okay, what is this? This definitely looks like a gold coin. Let me let me let me see it real quick. What does it say? United States of America and God we trust $20. 1900. U.S. twenty doll, dollar gold gold coin right there. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, there it is, right there. Nineteen eighty-eight. Nineteen eighteen eighty-two. Uh, let's see here. Double eagle. Okay. Uh, going value okay let's see what's the value okay 20 da, 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 price one thousand two hundred and ninety three dollars one thousand two hundred one thousand two hundred and ninety three dollars dude that's that's the same amount that we, of, the, of all the treasure we just turned in almost right it was like 14 to one gold coin Agents, this is crazy. We could give we them could be this onto something. and give a go-kart. That would buy a whole go-kart. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, oh my goodness, we, we gotta get going home though. The Storic System of The Storic System of Savings. First National Bank, Kelso, Washington. Kelso, Washington, that's close by. Okay, so we need to take this box right here to Teresa. Is there still something in there? That's the box we need to take, Teresa. I mean, I can't think of any other box. That's the only box that was in there. Okay, so this is all very exciting that we found D.B. Cooper evidence, but we, we still are in a predicament. We gotta find a way to get home, alive, just like D.B. Cooper did. If he was hiding out here, that means we're on the right track to getting home. And this is actually kind of close to Al's house. Look, this is hard. And is it? there was more tree over here. So. Oh, yes. This is a Douglas fir, an old Douglas fir. Maybe we could get some... Uh, smell this. Some Does it smell like that? Wood? Fat wood? Does it smell like it? That is fat wood. It was Axel, right here, right here. You just found fat wood. Axel just found it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Good eye, bro. Okay, start hacking at it. All right, you get it from there. I'll see if I can find some more around this side of the tree here. The rest of this tree is just falling apart. You see this? See that? But the area where there's fat wood is not falling apart. It stays really good. All right, let's see. I got my knife here. Hmm. 
Oh yeah, look at that. Man, we hit the Fatwood jackpot here. It's everywhere. This is so awesome. Oh, you can tell by smelling it. It smells super potent, like pine saw, right? Pine is another good source of fatwood. Pine stumps, old pine stumps. This is a Douglas fir. Out here in the Pacific Northwest, these are the best. Ah. Okay, so right here is not a good place to make a fire. Underneath these gigantic cedar trees here, they, there's a big buildup of this right here. Mm -hmm. And this will burn really badly, and it'll just keep burning. And that's really dangerous. You can have a forest fire. We need to get closer to the creek or to the area where the trees are not these evergreen trees because they really build up some really good tender down here. Come on, let's take, the, take this wood down by the creek. All right, so we made it to the creek right there. This looks like a great spot to have a fire. There we go. That's the kind of dirt we're looking for. This won't burn right here. And so it's safe. Do not want to risk ever having a forest fire. Axel, there you are. Come on over here. All right, so I'm gonna shave this fat wood down right here. Okay, Axel already had a little shavings there. We're just gonna shave it down a bit, just like that. See if it'll catch a spark. All right, so Axel is shaving down some cedar bark here for extra tender. So Axel's gonna try to get this to catch a spark. There you go, blow it, blow it. Real easy, real easy, not too hard. There you go, oh, good job, Axel, good job. Okay, get the fat wood in there. This fat wood will light, now watch this. This fat wood will light, and it will not go out. Check that out, you guys see that? This fat wood is so flammable. <laughs> it's like a torch, see that? It's crazy, keep it in there. Keep that lit. That fat wood will help us so much. This is a fire now. Ooh, buddy. If we were DB Cooper, I think we'd survive out here. Man, it's getting dark though. We got a long way to go. You think we're gonna have to camp here tonight? I don't know. I don't know. All right, everyone. You know what time it is. It is time to make Nick's Dick Soup. So I filled this up with water from the creek earlier. So let's fill it up here. And I also picked some plantain leaves earlier and we're gonna use that in the soup as well. There we go. And also in there is the nettle that I picked. And last but not least, we have here the Nick Sticks. Thank you, Nick Sticks, for giving us these grass-fed beef jerky sticks to fuel us on our adventures and help us survive out in the wild just like D.B. Cooper. D.B. Cooper probably had some jerky sticks. Definitely not Nick Sticks, though. Should've had some Nick Sticks, D.B. <laughs> All right, so these coals are nice and perfect for making our soup. There we go, and we'll just let that boil. What do you got there, Axel? You can see, you can't see there? You can see there. Wow. Okay, so Axel Look has, it doesn't go out. Dude, that is so cool. Look at that, the water. It's a fatwood torch. And that cool, it just doesn't go out. Yeah, this is what they would make torches out of, for look, sure. Look oh, look at that Nick Stick soup. That is done, man. Look at it boiling. All right, let's, ooh, hot. Get it off of there. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo, wow. Man, check that out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Does that look good, Axel? Yeah, I have a stir stick, <laughs> look. Oh, nice. Stir it <laughs> All right, we're gonna cool it off in the creek. Oh, okay, let me have a taste. Mmm. Mmm. That's like? good. Mm -hmm. All right, Axel, have a taste. Look what I'm doing. Uh, skull. Are you roasting a skull? <laughs> Monkey brain. <laughs> All right, Axel, have a taste. Good? Mm. Oh, yeah. Isn't this creepy? Axel burned the skull. This is gonna <laughs> look wow. be so cool on our GoPro. 
<laughs> okay, so we are here at DB Cooper's hideout right here. And there's the mailbox. Um, Let's so write down the number. We still gotta see if we can survive and get out of these woods alive. Yes, and see oh, if DB Daddy. Cooper could have done it. Daddy. What? Bring the box to Teresa. The mailbox! Oh! The mailbox. Ugh. That's kind of too big to carry right now, though. Yeah, but. Should we come back here with Agent Rex and get it? It has carving on the other side. What? See? Okay, so let's do this. Let's leave this here and let's uh let's come back with Agent Rex, okay? If nobody's found this, nobody's found this all this time. It's so remote out here that I don't think anyone else is gonna find it now. Let's go ahead and leave that there. We're gonna take the gold coin with us. But but let's leave that mailbox here and let's come back here with Agent Rex, okay? Deal? Okay. Alright, we'll come back here with Agent Rex. We really miss him. We wish he was here. He's still on that secret mission babysitting a pig. <laughs> So can anyone see that mailbox? I hit it really good, and I think that we're good here. We could camp out here. Maybe we should all come camp out here one night. <laughs> With Agent Rex? Yeah, but what if the... This is such a cool fort. I didn't think of that. But what if Al's D.B. Cooper? Let's see if we can make Wait, it back. Wait, Daddy, Daddy. What? What if sometimes when Al leaves, he goes to get some of his treasure. From here? Yes. I don't know. Let's we'll see. It's all very strange. Come on, we got we gotta get home. It's so dark. And we gotta make it back. I don't wanna run into a bear or a cougar out here. Come on, let's go. Okay, so we put out the fire, some water from the creek, and then and we made sure it was really good now. We don't wanna risk a forest fire here. And now me and Axel are gonna start hiking on and see if we can get back home. So we got ourselves a fatwood torch here. I frayed the end of this fatwood here. It is so dark here right now. We can't see where we're going. And I thought it'd be neat to have a fatwood torch. Axel had the idea, right? It's a good idea. So we've met a path right here. And this path is, uh, is uh, maybe gonna lead us somewhere, who knows? I'm gonna light my torch now. All right, let's get going. All right. Got to figure out a way to get out of this forest. There's a little path that's continuing on right here. See that? That path right there. And uh, let's see where this path leads us. I think that D.B. Cooper would have been, D.B. Cooper definitely would have been traveling at night and maybe he got some fatwood and made some torches like this, you know? He definitely didn't have a flashlight on him. I don't think he could have carried something like that from the plane. What do you think, bro? Think he made torches like this? Maybe, yeah. All right, let's keep going, come on. So we are really thirsty, and there is a nice spring of water coming out right there. See that? It's coming straight out of the rock there. I'm just gonna fill up my canister here. All right, have a drink. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good fresh spring water like that. It's so delicious. Don't drink any water or eat anything you find in the wild like you've seen us doing unless there's a, uh, an adult around letting you know it's fine. Oh, good thing. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, when it comes fresh from a spring like that, it hasn't been contaminated by animals um, pooing in it or anything like that. Yeah, yeah you gotta be careful what you drink, but, uh, and, and even if it's coming straight from rock, you don't drink it unless an adult tells you it's fine, okay? It can be dangerous. Uh, we've been traveling for a while, right? Yeah, we've been traveling for a very long time. We still don't see anything familiar. And uh, we're gonna keep going though. Let's see, hopefully we hit something familiar soon. 
I, see I don't want to be stuck familiar. out here all night. What do you see? Wait. Shh. Do you hear that? I guess it's a bird. It sounds like some kind of beeper. I don't know. Maybe an owl. No. All right, let's keep going. So, we've been walking for so long. It's getting so late, and we we're thinking maybe we have to go to camp out for the night, but then we found something. Check this out. This is so incredible. Hold your light up, Axel. Hold it up. Do you remember the biggest one of them all, the biggest nurse of them all? This is the spot that we dug up the giant safe, right? The big safe. Some of you may remember that, agents. And this safe was massive. Now we know where we are, right? Uh-huh, we're pretty close to Al's house. Let's go pay him a visit, okay? Or should I say, D.B. Cooper's house. <laughs> so Axel, what happened here after we left? Someone dug it up. Someone came. This was so creepy, you guys. Somebody came and dug up this spot. D.B. Cooper. Cooper. Oh my goodness. It was the creepiest thing. We buried this and then we came back later and someone had literally dug it up. So Maybe someone something. must have been watching us. Or maybe something. Or something. Bigfoot? Come on, let's get out of here. Okay, so agents, we are here, I think. We're getting closer. Looks like it is. Yep. Is it? Mm -hmm. Is this house house? Dude, we made it out alive. Give me five, bro. You are awesome. That was such an awesome experience. We walked for miles and we made it out alive. So it's definitely, we proved our case, right? It's definitely possible that DB Cooper made it all the way here. Or Al made it all the way here. Or DB Cooper, Al, I don't know. Anyways, it's definitely possible and I don't know. What do you think now? Do you think DB Al is DB Cooper? Maybe. Would that be crazy? <laughs> coyotes. The coyotes are here. You hear those coyotes? Oh man. They are close. They're like right there. They're probably on the trail of a rabbit. Man, what a way to end an epic night like this with a bunch of crazy coyotes going <laughs> wild. All right, agents. Well, this has been an amazing adventure. Maybe Al is D.B. Cooper, maybe not, but we proved that he at least could have made it up here, potentially. Yeah, I think so, maybe. And we found some epic evidence. Dude, I cannot wait for Agent Rex to be back here. Can you? He needs to get back here soon. Oh, and in our next episode, we have a new secret agent that we want to introduce you guys to. Uh-huh, Agent Tracker, right? Yep, it's a secret, right? <laughs> You're gonna have to wait for the next episode. You should see a video pop me up in just a second. That's that episode. We're gonna introduce our new secret agent to you guys, Agent Tracker. Be sure and click on that video, okay? And if you don't see it pop it up, it's because we haven't made it yet. All right, well remember, life's an adventure and love is the key. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Adventure's out. Mm -hmm. Adventure's out.